Okay, we're out here at the park, the only one, and the, uh, the mission for today is to put a maiden flight on the new little Zod HD Drift, and uh, let's see, uh, get it trimmed up if we can. It's a little damp out here this morning, but uh, we'll work it out nonetheless. So I think that uh, let's just set it in here like this. And we'll plug the battery in and let it let it start to get some satellites and check to make sure that the uh, that the video transmitter is working. And get my radio. Turn it on. Welcome to the TX. Okay. Right. So we have uh, six satellites right now, and check to see if all the modes are working. I'm looking at the monitor here, and uh, it is bright. That sun is bright up there. Point the camera the other way so it's not looking right into the sun. And I also want to record this on the goggles. So we'll turn the goggles on, even though I don't think I'm going to fly this thing today with the goggles, I am just going to uh, turn them on. and put it into record. Okay, let me just set the goggles down here and we'll let them we'll let them sit there and record the signal as well. I think I'll also record it on the SD card in the uh, in the little monitor. Okay, so I have 12 satellites. I'm in manual mode. I think I'm going to try this in manual mode. I'm going to uh, arm it. Okay. I'm going to try it about half throttle and just give it a little toss and see what happens. Not enough power. I need a little more power, but it went kind of straight. Okay, so half throttle is not enough to launch this thing, but it uh, didn't seem to have any any bad turning uh, tendencies or anything. So we'll give it a little more throttle this time, and I think. And I feel a little breeze coming from this way, but I don't want to launch it right to the trees, so we'll launch it down this way. All right. There it goes. And it needs up trim. So let's give it some up trim. There it goes. Needs more up trim. Needs a lot of up trim. Okay. 
The ailerons are certainly sensitive enough, but the rudder, the rudder's okay. Yeah, the ailerons are just a little touchy. Yes, they are. Alright, we're just going to fly it around a little while and see what happens when I pull the power back. Still need some up elevator. Okay, just for grins, let's switch it into uh, horizon mode and see what happens. That's in stabilized mode. And it seems to be doing pretty good. Now let's switch it into acro mode. Oh, much better. Much better than manual mode. Needs a little less aileron. It's pretty quick on the ailerons, although the Expo seems to be working pretty good. And uh, once we get the elevator situation trimmed out, I think we I think we'll have uh, a nice stable flying little airplane. It's kind of small, so flying at line of sight, <laughs> you got to keep it relatively close. And let's make a straight pass. And there it is. Climbing a little bit hands off in acro mode. Okay. All that stuff would get sorted out with the goggles on, which is much easier to do when you're not flying at line of sight. But the flight controller seems to be working pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's a fun little airplane. It's not, not a rocket ship, but it's not that slow either. Rolls pretty quick. Uh, 
let's see how it glides here. Does glide. And there we go. First flight. A success. So now we'll go home and take what we've learned and adjust all the linkages and the control throws and the expo and uh, get ready for the first goggle flight. But all things considered, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with this little thing. How about that? How about that? The little Zod Drift with the Maytech 411 411 wing flight controller in it with uh, GPS and uh, iNav 2.5.1 and other than being a little damp everything went pretty well. So let's open it up First of all, let's turn off our, our screen recordings here and goggles. And we'll take a look at them later when we get home. There we go. All right, mission accomplished. fun see what kind of battery we've got left 3.73 volts so and the flight time on that was 1139 11 minutes that would give me about 15 minutes on one of these little on one of these small little 853 cells which actually is not what I expected not too bad so let's unplug this for the time being Oh, my radio. Dry the airplane out. There we go, not too bad. Okay. On 2S, this will use a 5 inch prop, which I think. Uh, I think it's going to affect how fast it flies. It's kind of cute. With, it is kind of cute with the little three, the little three-inch prop on it. All right, so that'll do it for the test flight here. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.